hi i've been forced to hold my mic because of all the noise outside but i hope you can hear me loud and clearly so um we are going to talk about two cleansing balms that we released last year in 2021 quite a number of cleansing balms alongside hyaluronic acid serums were launched popular ones included the polish choice omega complex plus cleansing balm there was the super dream berry mask from you to the people and closely after that naturium released a cleansing balm as well there was also Muihud. they released a chi cleansing balm as part of the brand launch and i just found out about it when i was putting together the video for the community review um skincare in 2021 if you haven't seen it you should see it it was a fun video and there have been a lot of comparisons because the super berry dream cleansing and the Naturium Purple Jensen Cleansing Balm were released quite close to each other. Many of the reviews I've seen tend to compare the two. I was lucky to get the opportunity to try the Polish Choice Omega Plus Cleansing Balm and the You to the People Super Berry Mask. I did an ad with Polish Choice. That very first one was gifted. I have a second bottle and a third, all of which I snagged during the sale because I really enjoyed that cleanser. And I was given the freedom to choose which product to make the ad for so that's you know by way of disclaimer but because these are the two that i had at my disposal i plan on getting the naturium one sometime in the near future since there have been more reviews comparing the super berry dream cleanser and the naturium purple jensen cleanser i figured it would be fun and also out of curiosity to you know do a review or a comparison between these two now the super berry dream um cleanser i'm sorry if i keep referring to it as the mask because the mask i'm looking right at the mask on my desk right now that's a moisturizer but they are in the same family hold on let me show it to you this is the super berry oh focus focus this is the super berry dream mask and it's actually from the same line as the um the super berry dream cleanser so that's why i keep referring to it as mask so anytime i say mask i'm referring to this one so the super berry dream cleansing balm is 95 grams or 3.35 ounces for 34 dollars while the polish choice omega cleansing balm is 103 mils or 3.5 fluid ounces for 28 dollars so both of these are typical for each of the brands Polish Choice products are usually within the above drugstore price. You to the people products are a little bit higher in terms of price. They have a serum that's going for like 60 something dollars, but you would find the most expensive serum from Polish Choice for about 50 something dollars. You know, that's as close as it gets. If they release their products, it's very likely being in those respective um, price ranges. They describe this cleansing balm as a flash melting daily cleansing balm and makeup remover. I don't know about flash melting. Looking at the Omega Complex Plus cleansing balm, Omega Plus Complex cleansing balm, <laughs> described as a triple action cleansing balm with Omega 369 and is velvety smooth. So now let's talk about the texture. Let's choice wins hands down when it comes to how smooth the texture is but they are markedly different in the way they feel right from the tube or the packaging to when it finally um, melts down and emulsifies the polish choice cleansing balm looks just like a basic standard regular cleansing balm it's just white no fragrance and your usual balm but it's not very you know solid um for lack of a better description it's just the right texture between being a little fluid fluid enough to come out of the tube and being a solid balm easy way to visually describe it would be healing ointment the one in the tube is the same way it comes out but that feels a little bit more emollient than this cleanser for obvious reasons with this one though i don't know whether the texture is sorbet but it is very um tough to get it out and even to work through it it's doesn't it's, it's not together i don't know how to the, the, i don't want to say the formula is not cohesive but it's it, it's not fluid it's solid and when you take it out it's a bit you know um i can't find the word if i find the word i'll put it up here somewhere on the screen in edit it's not a smooth texture like for instance if you've tried elements or clean it zero clinique or even the polish choice cleansing balm it's not you know smooth it's a little bit 
dry to be honest it's, it's when you begin to rub it in it feels like it needs a bit more pressure to get it to melt down so i do not really um agree with the marketing point as it's been flash melting because it takes quite some work to melt it down however it is an interesting feeling once you're melting it once you're rubbing it in it's like there's resistance but it's not too light there are some people that would enjoy that i personally liked the way it feels once it is melted it feels like there's still some body to it it's not just like um a light oil like a facial oil that i'm moving across my face it has some body to it which i enjoy first choice melts much easier much faster i would call that more of a flash melt but looking at the demo you know it takes some work to even keep it on your face in the first place and then to you know have it melt it takes a bit more pressure to melt it in than the polish choice so and i've seen a lot of reviews comparing this to the naturium people doing saying cleansing balm saying that that is a smoother texture compared to this this is you can even see how let me see i don't not know how to um describe it but it it if i shook it right now see did you see that it wasn't even falling out if i shook it out right now See, I think this is what it's called a sorbet texture. I'm not sure how it's picking up on camera, but um, yeah, basically the texture is not like your regular cleansing balm. And some people would not mind. I personally do not mind, but it was just a striking difference between the two. So when it comes to smell, we are talking about the general experience. When it comes to smell, the Polish Choice one is fragrance free. It smells like nothing. This does have a light herbal scent that I actually do not mind and I actually like and enjoy it's very characteristic of the product when it's you smell it the first thing that comes to your mind is this product so it's, like, it's kind of signature unlike the way the all clean Hamish all clean cleansing balm smells similar to the pharmacy um, green clean cleansing balm so it's like oh this smells like that this smells all like nothing I've tried before and I like that about um, you to the people products that superfood cleanser as well has this nice leafy green smell that I truly enjoy Now let's take a look at the star ingredients Superberry dream cleansing balm. They have the dream oil blend Moringa, jojoba and sunflower seeds and then the extracts are maki, acai, goji berry and oil oil soluble hyaluronic acid. The Polish choice has jojoba, middle foam seed oil, omega-3, omega-3 six and omega nine well, i don't want to go too much into the ingredients because i am trying to um, give my audience more of you know the experience than the science behind it it's it is great and there are um, channels that are doing that and i love watching it the science is the main reason why i was even drawn and started the whole skincare content creation even though i wasn't given you know um, scientific information but i just want us to i just want to you know relay the reviews in terms of user experience and how fun it is and you know the price and who we think it might be great for so now let's look at performance i judge it based off or look out for an enjoyable unique texture um how well it emulsifies if it leaves an oily or greasy film how it takes off dead makeup sunscreen and other things off my face i do not i'm not one to wear makeup often but i do wear a lot of sunscreen so i double cleanse mainly um, if i've worn sunscreen multiple times a day if i've worn sunscreen once a day and i'm tired i'll just even if i'm not i'll just keep the double cleansing when it comes to efficacy i tend to use the makeup and one indicator for me would be can i easily get away without a second cleanse not that if i can't get away with not doing a second cleanse it's a bad cleanser i just use that to measure how effective it is as a makeup remover because that is what it's marketed as it felt like the polish choice did a better job of taking off makeup in both cases i used the clean skin cleansing um, towel washed it clean washed it clean i did it about two to three times and i could comfortably you know use a moisturizer or a toner without doing a second cleanse on the other hand I did the same thing with the You To The People Superberry Cleansing, Superberry Dream Cleanser 
and it did take off the makeup but you could tell even as i was taking it off um, during the cleanse it took a bit of work to get out all the eye makeup but it's emulsified beautifully and it did take it off however i didn't feel comfortable going in the into the rest of my routine without doing second cleanse so i went in with the superfood cleanser which is like my favorite cleanser right now so you should definitely check it out and grab one even if it's the mini one at least once try that cleanser it's really good i really love it i just really love it when it comes to emulsifying these emulsify really well i love the way the Polish choice cleansing balm emulsifies however i did a side by side the super berry emulsified into a milkier consistency which i enjoyed and because of how difficult in quotes it was to work it in once i worked it in and added water it felt more creamy than the polish choice um due to the people superberry dream cleanser gave me a richer experience that was really surprising and interesting to see considering the consistency and the texture of the superberry dream cleanser as compared to the polish choice as it is with different products in the same category or for the same purpose everything comes down to preference the texture of the Superberry Dream Cleanser is weird, but I kind of like it. It's not like the usual cleansing balm. It is thicker, it's harder, it may not be as cohesive as most of the other formulas are, for lack of better expression. I like the feeling. It glides, it, it needs a bit more pressure, but it glides and it feels more like a massage. But with the other cleansing balms, yes, I am massaging, but I can easily glide my hand on my face and have my face clean so it really depends on you when it comes to preference but even with this that was $28 $28 for what it is I think it's a bit pricey but I did snag this on sale because I enjoyed it I think it comes down to the individual and your taste and preference some people just want things that are pricey because they think they are more luxurious and they use the people cleansing balm it does feel different but it has this luxurious feel to it even the bottle it's glass it's frosted it has some weight to it it has this smell the experience is nice and to be honest the polish choice one feels pretty basic i did say that it gives a fine balance between basic and luxurious which i meant at the time and i still do because it's really smooth but the, there's this feeling that comes with the super very dream cleansing balm that is you know milky thicker and richer yeah i think richer is the word i'm looking for and somebody may prefer that it has been lengthy a little bit all over the place but i hope you enjoyed it and the next one